how to connect your active campaign with your Thinkific account. So if you are using active campaign, great choice, by the way, absolutely love it. Uh, you can actually get a free trial on active campaign as well by going to sarahcord.com forward slash active. Now what you're going to do is log into your Thinkific dashboard on the left hand side, click apps. So it moved actually from the integrations area to the apps area in May 2021. So click on apps and scroll down until you find the active campaign area. Click on settings and this will give you the area where you can start connecting the two together. So you'll see here that you're going to need to find your API key and your API URL from your active campaign account. So I'm going to go and open my active campaign account. On your main dashboard, click on the settings button at the bottom left of your screen, a little settings icon. And when you're in there, you will find another sub menu where you'll find an area called developer. If you click on the developer setting, you will then find your API URL and your API key. All you're going to do is copy and paste those into your Thinkific area, press save. Once that's saved, then click on settings. And this will give you some more options for being able to create triggers that fire off automations when students enroll in a program or purchase a program. Um, and lots of other cool tricks that you can do. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your tracking code from your Active Campaign account. So I'm gonna flip back to my Active Campaign account. Underneath the developer icon is the tracking menu item. So click on tracking. And when you are over in the tracking area, slowly but surely, it will give you a few different options. Now, the first thing you need to do is where it says site tracking, press enable, turn that on. So that should be green. Green is good. Then you're going to want to add in your Thinkific website URL. This is basically saying to active campaign, this is a safe site and this is the site that we're going to track. So put in the, the full um, Thinkific URL that you have. So that'll be your site.thinkific.com. Pop that in there, press all website pages and add. And over here on the right hand side, it should say site tracking tracking should be ticked. Brilliant means that it is all connected. Now the next thing you need then is your tracking code. So you're going to copy and paste the tracking code in this section. So copy it from there and paste it over in your Thinkific traffic, uh, traffic? <laughs> tracking code section. Right, so you're going to have that. Now the next thing we need is we need to create events. Now events are basically somebody doing something. An event is somebody enrolling in a course. An event is somebody purchasing a course, for instance. So we're going to want to get those events firing so that when somebody does that in Thinkific, it's going to tell Active Campaign, and then Active Campaign can do stuff like send them emails automatically. So go back to your uh, Active Campaign in the tracking area still, and you're going to turn your event tracking on. So make sure it says status on, green is good, and you will be given an event key. So copy that key, go back to Thinkific, and paste your event key in the event key section. The next we th thing we need is Active Campaign's ACTID, right? It's all sounding very techy, but it's not. What you're going to do is click on this button that says Event Tracking API, and you will see that there is a little number. So it will say ACTID, this must always be, and then you'll have a number there. Copy that number. Now, obviously, mine's partially covered up because um, you don't want other people to see your tracking codes and API codes and things like that, um, but you, yours is there. So copy that, go back to Thinkific and paste your ACTID number in there. And then what you're going to want to do is go on in and turn all of these on. So you can see here, this says inactive at the moment. So I'm going to turn it on and then press create event. Wait for a second, you should have this green thing pop up saying great events have been created. Turn it on, press create event and you'll get a green button that says great, great events have been created. Okay, so that's what you're going to want to go and do for all of the different events that show up in here. What that will mean is that when you actually go to create an automation inside ActiveCampaign, it will actually 
give you the option to start off an automation with an event. So it will say, how do you want this automation to start? You say, with an event. You click that button and it will say, what event? And you'll be, have all of the drop downs of all of these options for all of your courses. So it will say, do you want this event to trigger, this automation to trigger when somebody enrolls in a course or when somebody joins your site or when somebody purchases a course or when somebody finishes a course? You just literally press the drop down arrow, click on it and your automation can begin. That automation could be an email saying congratulations on signing up or congratulations on completing. That's it. As soon as you've done that, your active campaign and your Thinkific account are completely connected. How good is that? My name is Sarah Cordner. I'm one of the approved and verified Thinkific experts and you can grab my free Thinkific trial at sarahcorner.com forward slash Thinkific if you want to have a play. Hope that helped. Bye for now.